Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Essence of Shea. Let's get started. Um, I wanted to give a few uh, tips and tricks of getting some long, healthy locks hair. Don't even matter. It's a winter season, so this I feel like is a perfect time to really get those rules or tips getting started to get your hair on the right path. So, um, without further ado, let's get right into it. If you see me looking down, it's because I have notes, so I just want to make sure that I don't miss out on anything. And these are not in any specific order. But I always get questions about, Shay, why does your hair look so shiny, so healthy? How did you get your hair to grow so long? And before I get anything started, everybody's locks are different. You cannot compare your hair to somebody else's. So just remember that when I list down all these things. So the first one I want to say, during the winter time, we can do protective styles meaning um, lock knots, uh, two-stranded twists, braid outs, whatever it is, we should do that. And protective styles will help because once you get a style in that you're comfortable with rocking 24 seven, you can keep that style in your hair for a very long time and you don't have to worry about touching your hair and tugging at it all the time and the breakage and all that stuff. You just do your protective style and you're good to go. The second one I would say is don't overwash your hair. We have a tendency, we locks are different from um, natural afro type curly hair, which they can wash probably once a week or whatever, however long they wash their hair, but locks are different. You, If you wash your hair too much, you, you expose it to like breakage you expose you expose it to getting sensitive you get what i'm saying if you wash your hair every like two weeks or every three weeks i think it's great but washing it every week is is it's too much it's too much and it's not to me it's not necessary but all it is is about finding your balance and finding your hair like some people when they feel like they start itching, their scalp start itching, they feel like they need to wash their hair. And that really isn't the case, it could just be dry and needs to be moisturized. The third I would say is, like I was saying, which goes back into moisturizing, is to keep the scalp moisturized. So a lot of times we just use these greases and we just feel like, oh, well, because we have locks, it's a low maintenance hairstyle, so we don't really have to mess with it too much. That's yes and no, that's true and false. You don't have to really mess with your locks too much, but you do have to keep it moisturized. Moisturized meaning some rose water, rose water, which you guys know I live by, some aloe vera juice, different oils, um, and this goes into number four, which are the di the different types of oils. Um, you can use any oil that, because all these oils promote growth and stimulation and shine and bounce. But certain oils like peppermint oil and Jamaican castor oil, they particularly stimulate growth. Uh, the peppermint oil is a bit potent, so you would have to kind of mix that with something else because it can burn your scalp or if you're sensitive, it might irritate it a little bit. So I don't suggest you using that on its own. I would suggest you mixing it. On the other hand, you have Jamaican castor oil that's not as strong, but it is thick and it does have a smell. But what's good about um, Jamaican castor oil is it cuts through whatever bacteria you have in your hair. It, at it basically attacks all that bacteria and people usually use castor oil on their edges, they use it on their eyebrows, their lashes. It just promotes growth and these two together give you a dynamic punch. So if you just wanted to use those, you could. But I would say coconut oil, um, extra virgin olive oil, EVOO, sweet almond oil, anything, anything. These oils are very good for your hair. And what you want to do is how you can moisturize your hair. I would say to spritz your hair with some rose water oil or some aloe vera juice 
gel um the liquid and then seal it with the oils next i would say is to massage your scalp remember when we were doing the essence of shea lot um healthy hair journey i told you guys that i will be massage oil massaging my scalp now this is just great all <laughs> now only because it's stimulating the hair growth it's um rushing the blood cells to your your hair follicles and all that stuff but it just feels so good like take when you oil your hair instead of just putting it the oil in your hair and moving on and just raking it through your locks take some time and take with your fingertips and just go into your scalp and just massage oh my gosh that feels good just massage especially when you have a headache just massaging your head and if you don't want to do it yourself have your boyfriend your girlfriend your mom your dad your sister whoever do it for you five to ten minutes a day is not that hard and you will see a lot of benefits the second thing you can do as well is like i told you guys before you can bend your head over like bend it all the way down lay on the bed bend your head and have that blood just rush to your head and that somehow scientifically helps your hair to grow even more but like i told you guys before i'm a klutz so i shall not be doing that um the next i would say is do not over style your hair left it alone we play in our hair so much that we don't even realize sometimes when we just sit in there just twisting that causes a lot of breakage every time doing twists in your hair you keep pulling on the strands and it's not helping it be healthy because that's breakage and speaking of that as well is to always style your hair when you are style doing your protective styles and make sure you're doing it on wet hair the second to last thing i will talk about is like i told you guys before avoid beeswax you guys gave you a video if you don't if you haven't seen it i'll put it up here but avoid beeswax in your hair also avoid petroleum shine and you want the hold but it causes clogging in your pores and in your follicles and it stunts your hair growth um petroleum is like i said can be found in a lot of greases that we use for our hair and it's just not good i mean some of these things can be cheaper than oils and i completely get it but in the long run it'll be detrimental to your locks and you will be noticing that your hair is not growing as fast and even if it is it's not as healthy as it can be i know we want the shine we want the bounce and petroleum can give you that we want that hold from the beeswax but there are other natural alternatives that you can use and not even natural better alternatives that you can use in your hair and last but not least I know everybody talks about this but it's super important I tell you guys this all the time and it's drink water drink water and I always use this analogy like a plant that needs to grow if you just put it out there with no water it's not gonna grow it's going to die off and it's going to break off as soon as you pour that water and it brings it back to life and you have to keep replenishing it to get that full bounce back and that luscious colors and all that stuff and the same thing goes with your hair if you don't wa um water if you don't drink water that means you're dehydrating the inside which will come through through your hair your skin gets od dry when you don't drink water why don't you think that's going to happen with your hair also with the things that you eat if you keep eating mcdonald's and you keep eating pizza hut and i'm i'm bad with this but i'm working on it it's all about balance eat good things like leafy greens and all these things that are good for your body and it will show in your hair you guys are going to see such a difference when you just switch these these items just a little bit in your daily regimen you will see such a difference especially when it comes to your hair and you guys can also take some supplements i know there's biotin and all these other things but if you're not into pills just drink loads of water eat properly don't use beeswax don't use petroleum use some oils in your hair do that oil that oil scalp method don't wash your hair too much do not style your hair too much put in some protective styles over this winter and you will see such a difference and you will thank me and that's all i want 
for you guys to be happy, live happy, have nice, healthy hair. And if you don't even want long hair, just healthy hair in general. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more stuff like this, please don't forget to thumbs up. Let's try to get this to 50 likes. 50 likes. I think we could do it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on those notifications so anytime I post a video, you will be the first to know. I love you guys so much for watching. See you later, Tiger Lilies. See ya!